Hello, I'm Helen Newberry, and today we're going to be casting a bronze sword. This is kind of a quick version where I kind of had a cool shot of doing the pour, so I thought, hey, let's make a video out of it. So first, we're going to need a wooden sword. I mean, you could make it out of something else, but wood's pretty convenient for it. And that's what we're going to be using. And here we go. We're going to make our form. We've got a nice box here. I'll show a little bit more of that in a minute, but we've got some Petrobond, which is similar to Delft clay. You hammer that in there, get it nice and compacted, get it flattened off, and uh, put a little parting powder in there. In my case, it's some talcum powder. And as you see here, then you put the sword in, put the other half on, and hammer that Delft clay down and uh, get it around the sword. Then you can separate the two halves. And now I'm just kind of cleaning everything up, and it's kind of a cool process. If you go back and look at my Delft clay videos, it's basically the same thing here, just scaled up. So I have, uh, I've got some videos where I uh, make a ring and some stuff like that, so I'd take a look at that. And it's basically the same kind of technique here. I'm not making any vent holes in this, it's going to be a vertical pour. So the air will just escape out the top, which is the same place that I'm pouring in. So I'll just kind of do, uh, try to do one continuous pour and the air will escape out the top. Here is our metal. I've gotten some copper pipes. So they're 100% copper and I'm mixing that with tin. So I have a ratio of 88% copper to 12% tin. And that's along the lines of what they would be using back in the day. And here you can kind of see the copper is starting to melt. And uh, eventually that'll get nice and liquidy. And then we'll do the pour and that's coming up real quick. I ended up doing that at sunset. So the sun was kind of escaping on us, but we still managed to get it done. And that's also why it looks all cool and glowy. So. I thought it looked really cool, so I decided I'd make a video with it. And here we go, we're gonna pour, trying to make it one nice long pour. Kind of fun to be doing something on a larger scale than I'm used to. Usually I'm doing small objects, more like jewelry sized things. So it was a lot of fun scaling it up this time to do a sword. Here you can kind of see the button there at the top still glowing and burning the, the wood of the frame, but it'll be fine. And there it is. It seems to have come out uh, fairly well intact. And I was pretty excited about that. And you can kind of see I got a little bit uh, flashing around the edges and that will be okay. I'll just trim that off and I can save that for the next time I do something with bronze. I can just melt that up with the button and any additional metals that I'll need. And uh, the petrol bond is completely recyclable except for uh, the burnt bits. So I will scrape out the burnt bits and throw those away and then I'll just mix all that other sand back up and use it again. Here I am work hardening the edges by peening it with the hammer. Um, bronze is not very hard on its own, but if you work harden it, it will be hard enough to take an edge and actually have you know a good amount of toughness. So here it is after uh, sharpening it up and getting it all kind of prettied up. In this case, it's a, it's a sword that's patterned after a sword that was found in England, but I kind of made the handle thicker so I could just use it as is and here we have a tree sapling that's having a bad day, and the sword took it just fine. It didn't mess up the edge at all. Uh, you can just kind of see some marks where, uh, well, you can see from the peening, uh, some of the, I peened up a little further away from the edge. I think next time I probably won't go so far up, and I might actually use a different rig to do it so that I, I can kind of do it in a different fashion. But here it is. It, it looks kind of cool. I think it's fun. I plan on keeping this one for myself. Um, I may do some patina on it, but it, it was a lot of fun projects. So 
If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments.